This Torah class is brought to you by TorahAnytime.com. Okay, good morning, Rabbi. So we're continuing Mishnah Bura, Daf Hashavua. We're learning Hilchos Krishma, Simon Pei Beis. We're up to the end of Sif Aleph. The Mechaber since Sif Aleph, you're now to read Shema opposite of Beis Kisei that is old, even if you cleared out the Tzoya. We saw from Rabbeinu Yoyna, it might even be a Dairaisa. The Mechaber said to him, it appears, that if there, that's if there are no Mechitzos, but if there are Mechitzos, even if there's Soya, you could read Kenegdoi, even in close proximity. Im ein magia loy reachra. Says the Mishabrua Sivkatan hey. The im magia reachra. Well, what if the smell reaches you? Asr ad sheyarchik dalar amos mimakam shakala reach. You have to go four amos away from where the smell stops. So again, that's important to remember. It's not enough that you don't smell it. You, really, you have to go about between six and eight feet from where the smell stops. That would be sufficient even if the tzoy is in front of you. The mechaber is lenient even if the mechitzos are not ten tfachim tall. Like we find in the Beis Regarding this issue, all the Achreinim argue on him. And if they are ten Tvachim tall, some Achreinim hold like him. Many Achreinim argue about this as well. Why would they argue? These are Mechitzos of a Beis HaKisei. The Mechitzos are designated to receive Tzoya. Kemait siya Tzoya dainin on lehu. Now, does that mean the walls of a bathroom are not a mechitza? No. We're here talking about, excuse the expression, let's say a urinal. So it goes down into a place where it collects, but the stream hits, let's say, the wall. That wall is not a mechitza. That wall is not a mechitza. The wall of a bathroom is a mechitza, and the Chazoy Nish says that if it is... If the mechitza is used for the stream to hit, but it's made out of metal, it's also a mechitza. Okay. Weiter in the Mishnah Bura. Ukegraf shorei, and they're like a graf shorei. It's like the uh, chamber pot. That it's also even if there isn't a reichra. Now, regarding mechitzos of beis hakisei bismanenu, the Chazonish writes: since even in the beis hakisei itself, it is not definitive that as a din of a beis hakisei, because it doesn't stay there, it might be like the Persian bathrooms. Therefore, from the outside, certainly we're not machmer. Because especially because the tzad doesn't touch the walls, and the toilet bowl is glazed, and also the walls are not only for the base hakisei; it's also for the whole house. So a bathroom wall bezman hazeh is a valid mechitza, no question. V'chein midivrei hagra v'beyurei mashur gam kein shedaita lahachmer bezeh. The gra is also machmer that mechitzais. Are a problem. Likewise, in the prima godim, the derachachayim, and other achorinim of our time, kula machmir and bezeh, they're all machmir. Israel who the sarch laharchik mei amachitzais, dalad amos. You have to go four amos away from the machitzais. Ulo fanav and before you kimlay enav, as far as you could see. Afilu pinu mimenu atzaya. Even if you cleared out the tzaya, ve'in by reichran, there's no bad smell. So this is the. Uh, opinion. This is the Mishnah Bura that Bizman Hazah. I'm sorry that that Mechitzos. Again, we said the Chazon initials Bizman Hazah. It's not an issue. But back in the day, or let's say you're uh, traveling to Eastern Europe and you're going to see like one of these old kind of bathrooms. So now it's not going to help just to be away from the toilet. Even if there's a Mechitzah, you have to distance yourself from the Mechitzah. I wonder what if you have a um, 
excuse the expression again, a porta potty, would you have to distance yourself kimloy enav? In other words, are those mechitzais? I mean, the Chazoynish says that mechitzais bizman hazeh are not a problem because the tzaya doesn't stay there. But some of these things, the tzaya does stay there. You know, these temporary places. So then, we would maybe be machmer about the mechitzais of our Beis HaKisei. Again, the Mechaber is Machmer about Mechitzais. I'm sorry. The Shita of the Mechaber is that uh, you don't have to distance from the Mechitzais. However, the Achroinim say you do. The Chazoinish says, Bizman Hazay, you don't. But I don't know if that would apply on these, you know, uh, temporary bathrooms that they have in these places sometimes. Okay. Um... Therefore, you have to be careful not to say Shema, not to Dave, not to say the Torah in a courtyard opposite of Beis Hakisei, as far as you could see. Even if the door is closed, and you can't see the Tsaya. So, again, back to what we were discussing the other day, yesterday. Let's say the bathroom door is open. And you don't see mamish the toilet, but you see the area close to it. So again, it might not be so pashat. That might be an issue. Because there is even an issue if you could see the wall of a bathroom. So we're not machmer bismanazah. But to see the inside of a bathroom, that might be an issue. Certainly, a court, right? That might be an issue. That might not be machinach kadosh. Therefore, you should be careful when you make a sukkah in the courtyard. You want to make sure the walls of the bathroom are not opposite the entrance of the sukkah. When the sukkah is open, because then you're going to have to be careful. When you're speaking de Torah or other words of kedusha. By the way, which is interesting, what about when you're stam sitting in the sukkah? Are you allowed to do a mitzvah if you see tzaya? The din that you're not allowed to learn Torah, you're not allowed to say words of Torah. You're not, are you allowed to do a mitzvah if there's tzaya in front of you? It's mashma here, you could. Right? Because the only issue in the sukkah is learning. What about the fact the kiyum ha mitzvah of yeshiva sukkah? Seems like that's not an issue. V'cheinim yesh neged chaloin. You know the nafkamino be. You know if is a person allowed to give tzedakah in the beis hakisei? So you say, how's that possible? You know the whole day the phone is ringing for different collections, right? So are you allowed it? L'chayra, you could. V'cheinim yesh neged chaloin beis hakisei v'chaloin pasuch. Let's say there is opposite. The window of the bathroom. Vahachaloim pasuach, and the window's open. Vu oime bevesa, you're in your house. Upan of kapi besa kisa, and you're facing the bathroom. Nachoin lizar me ladaber az devei taira. It is correct. Uh, this is exactly what we're talking about. The window of the bathroom is open. So, are you allowed to learn? If you're facing it, the, the Mishabru says it is correct not to say words of taira. Now, look what he says. You could rely to be mekel if the smell doesn't reach. Why? Watch this. Number one, there's a wall. And the wall is ten tvachim tall. So the fact that you could see in, but there's still a mechitza. And number two, the rush holds that if it's in a different room, it's not an issue. Rabbi said, this is what we said yesterday, and it seems like we were right. Here it is. I wrote down, I put, I put it on the uh, group, that the Mishnah Brewer says, if you cleared out Tzaya, the Isra's Minat Tzaya, because there's normally Tzaya there. I wrote, L'chaira, according to the rush, that's only if it's not in a different room. But if it's in a different room, even if the door is open, it's not a problem. It's only a problem according to the Rajbah. Bingo! We hit it. 
That's exactly what the Mishnah was saying. That seeing a, a bathroom in a different cheder is not a problem according to the Rush. Now, we would be machmer medairaisa, it's a suffix dairaisa. But here where there's also mechitza, so one second. What about if you, according to the Rush, in other words, let's say you have a bathroom in the other room and the door is open. Stam, so you also have a svek sveka. Maybe that loch is like a ru- the rush that it's okay if it's in a different room. And even according to the rajva, there is a mechitza that's ten tfachim tall. It happens to be you're seeing through the side of it. But shouldn't that mechitza make it? What is the, what's the svek sveka here? Maybe that loch is like the rush. And furthermore, there are mechitzas here. How are the mechitzas going to help, though, if you see it according to the Rajba? Anybody know what the Svek Sveka is? In other words, why do the mechitzas help? If that lach is like the Rajba, anything you see, it says, Lo yira b'cha ervaz davar. In other words, let's say there's a woman in the next room. And she's not clad. And you could see... So the fact that their mechitzas are not going to help if the mechitzas is not blocking. So what exactly is the svek sveka here? It's like a din by mechitzas, the basis for the box specifically say that even when you can see the mechitzas are enough, that... I mean, the case is the window's open. I don't understand the case. In the case, negative color, it's basically... So he's like, 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 Um, if someone closes their eyes, according to everyone, it will help. The Achrayim write further. This that were machmer by the barriers of a, a bathroom to consider them from the outside, like it's only a mechitza that's only designated for the bathroom. Let's say you made in the courtyard a special room. If it was built, if you built in the mechitza of the house that you uh, adjoined it to this mechitza, the beis hakisei, mamish, even though that mechitza is mamish, the mechitza of the bathroom, ain't al oisam mechitza din beis hakisei The wall, the mechitza does not have a din of a beis hakisei. Umutar likras afilu besamach. Because it's not designated only for the base hakisei, it's also for the house. Kimen she'ena mechitza miyuchedas la base hakisei levad. By the way, Ramosha writes in a tshuva that for this reason. You're allowed to stand outside of a bathroom and read uh, Asher Yatsar or Davin right opposite the door when the door is closed, even though it's the door of the bathroom because it's also a door for the house. However, in a shul, you should not make it that the door of the bathroom is seen in the shul. It's a genai for the Beis HaKnesses. In other words, you should not have it that in the shul, there's a door and you just step into the door and you go to the bathroom. Because you could see, Lamaisa, you could see the mechitza of the Beis HaKisei. I, it's not designated. That's halachically fine, but it's not nice for a shul. i still uh, not sure about this Svek Sveka, why the fact that the mechitza is work if you could see it. Unless you're not mamish seeing the avid itself. Okay, Rabbi said, we'll hold it over here. You've just experienced another Torah class brought to you by TorahAnytime.com.